Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little introduction to properly tell you what this video is about. It's just a quick video showing how I mastered the technique of shearing fabric. I had an absolute nightmare getting on board with this and it took me about six hours of attempts because for some reason I just couldn't get it right. So I thought I would vlog myself doing it so that I could show you what I learned along the way. There's a lot of videos online and a couple of which so Coco Wawa did an amazing one for people that have a drop bobbin sewing machine and how to set it up and everything like that and hers was very very helpful and also the lovely Anika who is an Australian craft sewing blogger who um, I was basing this kind of top that I was making on her original video and then I thought I would vlog because not only did it um, become very challenging for me to, to actually get the sharing technique to work but also because I want to show you how I made the top and also because I just learned a couple of extra little bits that the videos didn't mention so hopefully this will be helpful to you guys if you've wanted to start shearing yourself. So if you're new to my channel before I get started make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and if you're liking my sewing vlogs then let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know if you're enjoying them. Today is the day I try and crack shearing if you watch my other weekly vlog, you would have known that I had an absolute mare of a time a couple of weeks ago and I just couldn't get it to work no matter what I tried. And I tried the bobbin tensions, the thread tensions, different techniques of winding it manually onto the bobbin, different fabrics, and it just wouldn't work. So I kind of gave up and had a bit of a, um, a hard time accepting that I just couldn't get it to work. So I'm back. I put it down to the fact that my elastic is quite thick. So, I will show you. This was the elastic that I had. Let's see if it will focus. This is the elastic that I brought on eBay. It was just like a cheap kind of thing. And then I'll compare it to the new one that I got. So this is the new elastic that I picked up. Um, hopefully you can kind of see the thin sort of quality of it. And then this is the one I was using. Can you see how much thicker that is? And I, I just think it wasn't uh, working because this was like a cheap shearing uh, elastic that I brought. Um, I could be wrong, it might not even be the elastic, but today we're gonna find out. Um, so I brought three packs just to be safe. And hopefully this will be the answer to all the problems that I was having. Uh, fingers crossed my machine will will be kind to me and I will manage to get it to work today but we shall see um, and yeah I've just sort of prepped everything it's a bit of a mess at the moment but I've just done before I set up my machine with a shearing I've just edged two rectangles um, of fabric so they've got a nice neat hem and then I've got a testing piece of fabric up there and if it all works hopefully we will be on a, um, a journey today um, Plan B is I have a pile of bunting there um, in case all else fails and then at least I've got something to show for my efforts because there's nothing worse than when you fail at something and then you really wanted to make something by the end of the day. So I thought I'll have an easy make, an easy project sat there ready for me just in case this doesn't work and then I've got something to look forward to. So yeah. Really zoomed in, oh my gosh. Um, wish me luck guys, I'm nervous. I also just look crazy today so apologies but i'm probably gonna have a non-makeup session um ew, i'm so nervous i really hope this works <sighs> deep breaths so we're all set up i've got my elastic thread in the bobbin i've changed the bobbin tension all the way around to the right i have got my sewing thread tension on four this is what um the lovely coco wawa um coco cast on instagram recommends so here goes Hey guys, it is later on in the day, um, I can't remember what time I started doing this, but this morning, it's now nearly 2pm, and I had an absolute mare, yet again, with the shearing, but, after nearly wanting to pull my hair out, again, <laughs> and wanting to cry, um, this is what I was getting, and again, it was like, it was trying to do it, but it wasn't doing it. And I tried labelling like all of my um, stitches, what I was doing, um, to see if there was any kind of difference each time. And it wasn't working. 
and then I took to Instagram and asked my followers over there um, for some ad advice and some guidance and this lovely follower told me if you've got a drop in bobbin make sure that you put the elastic around the metal bit and I'll show you in a second and I was like but I'm doing that and then I looked again I thought let me just try this for a second did it and it worked and look we have successful shearing I can't tell you how happy I am that it's finally working it's like taking six hours of my life to practice to finally get it to work and it was a simple error of just not putting in the bobbin properly so I'm going to show you exactly what I did if any of you guys are using a Janome with a drop-in bobbin you can hopefully do the same but not make the same mistake I did so here is what I've set my machine to so feel free to screenshot that and uh, have a look but I'll talk you through each bit anyway um, so here we've got I've just made little notes top tension so this one keep that on one uh, my front tension, I experimented with this, and I think mine is um, pretty good on five. And then we've got our bobbin tension, which is the one when you take this metal piece off, you can take your bobbin out. I'll leave the this thingy. Um, I'll leave the tutorial for Coco Wawa below because she shows you how to do that. Um, but I've only turned it to the right one time. Um, and just keep a note of that so when it comes put to putting it back to your normal stitching you know what to do and then my stitch length it was on four but I'm actually going to put it on five now I did an experiment and I prefer um, the stitch length on five um, manual wind the bobbin so I'm going to show you that in a second but I'm going to manually put my shearing elastic on my bobbin by hand with no tension to it at all some people prefer to have tension but I found it's now working without any tension at all so that's what I'm going to do and then the thing that um, the person told me about was this thing here so usually you drop your bobbin in like that and the thread would come around this big metal bit where the arrow is suggested round and then under here so that when you use your cutting feature it does it for you but you actually need to put it under this bit of metal and I'll show you um, what I've done in a second just in case you're having the same issues as me. Here we go then guys, so you've got your thread round to the left, drop it in like that and then it needs to go around, it's not focusing, but let's see if I can get super close up. It needs to go under this little bit there we go so it goes under this bit can you see so usually you would go around this big one and up you just literally want to take it around there and it's like actually tight in there now if I can get hold of it oh come here yeah so it's like tight in there now now what we want to do which hopefully I can show you one handed it's uh, so now what you want to do hopefully I can show you one handed because it's not the easiest you want to pop your needle in I've got an automatic thing to do this so I'm going to do that and bring it back up and as you can see I can now pull this underneath where we need it and it's still stuck nicely in there and that is what I was doing wrong fellows fellows chummies um, I was putting it round there and that's why it wasn't working properly because we need the tightness of this bobbin tension um, to make it work and like I mentioned I used Coco Wawa's tutorial because she's got a Janome wondered why it wasn't working and that is why you guys so yeah, none of the tutorials I've seen, as good as they are on YouTube, mention this. So that is important because I've spent six hours of my life trying to get this to work based on the simplest little issue of not putting it around this instead of this. Um, but hopefully if you follow that and you follow my little tension guides that I've got here, it worked for you too first time and not six hours later like it's taken me. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to do my shearing. So I have my piece of fabric in. 
I've already edged it to make it neat and I'm just going to follow this white line as my guide and here goes guys I've kept it in fact I'm going to make it a bit longer on the edge so I've got some seam allowance here um, to sew this together in a minute and yeah fingers crossed I feel like we finally got somewhere with this just a quick note, I have gone forwards and backwards on the end. I felt like that was really important to get it to um, gather properly. And now that I've done that, I can start sewing all the way down. Um, my machine, when I sew, see if I can show you, it doesn't sound happy, I'm not gonna lie. Can you hear that? But I'm just letting that gathering do its work. I'm not pulling the fabric through, I'm just letting it sit and do it. Even though the machine sounds a little bit rattly, I'm just putting it down to the fact that, you know, it's sewing two different thicknesses on the bottom and then on the top. So just letting it sound a little bit like that. I've checked, there's nothing going wrong with it, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you're worried about noises and stuff, then just make sure there's nothing stuck or anything like that first and then carry on. You don't want to break your machine, but all is good and we're going to crack on. And there we go, there's the first one done. And it gets harder and harder to stitch it with each one. So we're just gonna be really slow and gentle. I'm actually gonna turn my stitching uh, stitching speed down just to make sure that we're going slow and steady. It's good because I have this gingham so I can use this as a guide, but I am also gonna have the stitch roughly on the edge of my foot here. And that's kind of going to be the distance between all the shearing that I'm going to do for this little top. And um, yeah, fingers crossed it works out. But it, so far, it's uh, it's done that one really nicely. So I'm very pleased that I finally got it to work. And there we have it. It is finished. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how good it feels to see a finished piece of shearing sat in front of me. It has been a crazy um, experience to be honest to try and get this to work but I'm just glad I finally cracked it. Um, it's taken me, it took six hours to get to this point where I can actually do it so persevere and it will pay off I promise you and like being able to see it in front of me is just such a good feeling and I have now got this piece which turned out the best in terms of the distance of the stitches all looking all neat and lovely and then the back you'll see the elastic there so that's kind of what it should look like and this is the neatest one I've got two panels so there's that one and then this is the first one that I did and actually I'm gonna make it the back you can just tell that the stitching is just not as neat as the first one um, but I've just marked it with a safety pin so I know that this is gonna be my back piece and I'm just gonna put my machine back together how it was with normal stitching thread and then sew these together um, and we're going to make a little top so I just need to cut out the sleeves sew these panels together at the side seams there and then obviously on the other side to make a tube um, and then I will show you the process of putting sleeves onto it um, hopefully the sleeves work I'm going to use a vintage pattern for it so yeah but all in a day's work and this has taken this shearing has taken me maybe two and a half hours to do. It's quite a long process, but um, it looks amazing once it's done, as I'm sure you guys will agree. Must also add that it took a full one of these, a full spool, is this called, um, to do a practice run and to to make my top. And then I've used about half a roll, so it's taken one and a half rolls to practice my shearing and to make this top. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut the sleeve for this pattern and it's a simple shape, I'll show you it. So this is what the sleeve looks like. Um, I just cut off about two inches from the end of it. You can use any sleeve pattern to be honest from a puff sleeve um, pattern piece. So this one obviously I know is puffy sleeve because I can see it is based on the images and the diagrams on the back. So what I plan to do is I'm taking inspiration from one of my previous makes, which I'll leave the card for, 
um, which was my gingham top tutorial which is a McCall's pattern and I'm using what you have to do in that and that is to put a casing on the cuff of the sleeve to put elastic in so I've just cut some little rectangles of fabric that's the same um, width as the sleeve and this is about an inch and a half um, and what I'll do is just make a channel for the elastic to go through it and then that will make it bunched at the bottom and then in terms of making the sleeve sit perfectly on your shoulder I just need to make a channel around the shoulder for elastic and then I can alter it and play around with it depending on the size of my shoulders but that's a case of fitting it to your body and then we can put it all together but hopefully that makes sense it's pretty straightforward just a little bit fiddly with all the elastic and stuff I'm going to start off by hemming the edges and then doing a casing turnaround for the shoulders finished top we are here we've got here in the end um, it was a long process but I absolutely love how the shearing has turned out I'm really really happy with it but I was really happy with the finished result considering this is the first one that actually went successfully so with the body it's really simple you just need a rectangle of fabric and the way I worked mine out was you need about a half measurement bigger than your chest measurement so you'd measure around your bust and then half it again and add that on as extra so i hoped the process of sewing made sense to you guys and that it helped you if you want to start shearing yourself as well what i learned so a couple of things that i thought i would mention obviously you saw the whole bobbin situation that i went through and that was the reason why it wasn't working for so many hours of my time um but just essentially making sure you're manually putting your bit of elastic under that metal piece big 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 one there and secondly lightweight fabrics are best so if you're practicing shearing for the first time i highly recommend using a lightweight fabric this is a nice viscose really really soft and lightweight you can see it's got really nice drape to it so if you can use something really soft then or lightweight rather in its weight then that's going to work better for you another one which a lot of people were messaging me about on instagram which worked really well as well was giving your shearing a nice steam so don't press it with your iron so you're flattening it just hold it above it nicely and let all the steam get into it and that just kind of makes it sort of bunch up even further and um just helps out the elasticity of it and then the final one i would recommend is to get yourself if you've got a drop-in bobbin like me coco wawa's tutorial recommends tightening the tension I did that on mine and I'm glad I did but the only issue is now that I've taken it back to where it was I'm having a few tension issues with my sewing machine so this got me thinking that I should probably get another one another bobbin casing to put in my machine that's set to the standard stitch so now the one I'm currently using that I've changed and altered the the tensions I can use that for things like shearing and um, other other stitches that require that maybe embroidery or something like that in the future that I might need to change the bobbin tension hopefully that made sense for you guys and helped you I've now got this beautiful little top which I'm so happy with I hope you liked it as well and um, I hope you can agree that I think the fit was really nice and stuff and I'm just really happy with it so hopefully you got on well with shearing as well and that this video was helpful and yeah let me know what you got making in the comments below and I'll see you next time